from RVing TV. Today we're going to take a look at a 2022 hideout by Keystone RV. This is a 290 QB floor plan. So it's approximately 29 feet in length with one large slide. And this unit here weighs in at 6,830 pounds, which is a really nice weight for a large choice of towing vehicles. However, as many of you have heard me talk in our previous videos about cargo capacity, this also has a great cargo capacity of 2,730 pounds. So little reminder, with the average consumer needing around a thousand pounds approximately for cargo weight for a decent trip, you're still going to be well below the 50% mark. So you're not pushing your trailer to its limits. Something that really impressed me when I looked at this hideout. Now let's take a, a little look around at some of the features on this hideout and let's take a look inside. So we have the traditional power tongue jack up front, which is really nice. We have an underslung tongue, so it doesn't meet the front of the trailer up high, it meets it underneath the frame. That will give you more support for towing. We can see the nice large stone guard here. And then of course, our decorative finish. As we take a look around, something really jumped out at me. So I'm gonna come up and take a look at this marker light here. And you probably won't be able to see it, but at the end right here, it says Furion side camera. You can take a look at our unboxing video, but there are side cameras available, available for the Furion system. Normally you have to replace your side marker in order to mount the side cameras. And this is something great that Hideout has done, is that this module right here can be removed and that's where your side camera would normally be mounted after you've replaced an entire assembly. On the hideout, you don't. The assembly is here. You just need to buy the side, mark, the side cameras and mount them. So all the harder work is done. And I can tell you from running the side cameras on our own unit. Now we haven't had, I'll be upfront, we haven't had a ton of experience, so we're gonna bring you some um, future videos on that. But I can tell you in our initial use, I'm very impressed with the side cameras by Furion. So both marker lights are set up for that. As you noticed, we have a large storage compartment that passes all the way through full power awning, as well as front power stabilizer jacks and rear power stabilizer jacks. So this makes setup super, super, super easy. When we look underneath, you'll notice it's a fully sealed underbelly. So it will give you some colder weather protection, extend out the seasons. We have the Lippert solid step here in front of us, which is really nice to see. And another feature that Hideout has done as a standard is the Solar Flex 200. Now, what does that mean? That means with the Solar Flex 200, you have a solar panel already on the roof of the trailer. It's all pre wired up front in a specific location there will be a solar panel uh, converter in order to charge the battery however what you can do is you can purchase from your dealer an inverter that will allow you to invert the power off the battery while it's being charged by your solar panels so you have usable 110 volt instead of 12 volt power inside the unit now, speaking of dealers, I'm gonna just take a moment and say thank you to Bella Vista RV for giving us the opportunity to view a few of their trailers on their lot. So definitely check back soon for more videos of various units, but they've been kind enough today to give us access to a few units and explore some of the different floor plans. 
So thank you to Bella Vista. Take a look at their website for great products like Hideout, Coleman, etc. Um, if you do like this video, please click the like button and please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it and I thank you in advance. Now back to some of the great features. So we talked Solar Flex 200. Up front we have a doggy leash holder so that many campers do travel with pets. This way you know that if you have to let your dog be for a little bit, you're bringing gear in and out, you can actually use the doggy leash system here. It'll hold their leash and keep your pet nice and safe. We do have, or this unit I should say has a TV, a TV prep on the outside and our power plug. We have outside speakers. And as I step back so you can get a better look at the awning, you'll notice a nice large power awning with LED light strip. I was hoping to show you that awning today. However, we have some fairly good winds blowing by and I don't want to take a chance at damaging that awning, especially when Bella Vista is being so nice to us. Now we have an outside shower on this side. I do like it on this side. So if you're new to camping, the reason I like it on this side is it's in your camping area. It can make it a little bit messier, but if you're rinsing yourself off, you're rinsing your bikes off, uh, for grandparents that maybe the grandkids have come back from the beach, you're giving them a quick rinse before they go inside the trailer, you're on your private side and you'd be to the opposite side of your neighbor, right? They're off camping side, so you have a little more privacy where so many units put the outside shower on the back of the trailer and then you're actually showering with your neighbors looking at you. Even though you're not going to be, you're gonna have clothes on, you know, you still have that lack of privacy. Now, the 290 floor plans have been done by many manufacturers. It's been a staple for many years. In my previous history as a dealer, I can tell you this was the number one selling floor plans for about five years in a row because it is very well laid out. But this is something new that I haven't seen before. This storage area in the back. Some have put a little outside kitchen here, and that's great if you use it, um, but you're always lacking exterior storage on a trail, on a travel trailer for the most part. It's just part of what happens. I really like this storage configuration because not only do you have storage up front, but look at the storage you have here that's accessible on the camping side. Yes, that's a door at, to get to the back area here, and it goes all the way around like a U. It, it circles around, so there's the door at the back, and it circles around the four bunks that are inside to have this massive storage area. And I thought that was something very unique and a great feature overall. Couple other things to note on the hideout. We have our spare tire. Up top, we have our TV camera prep. So that's ready to go. LED lights at the back, which is really nice. It is a 30 amp trailer. So our city water, our electrical, and our dump station is all right here in one location. Now, as we look underneath the slide, because I do like talking about construction in my videos, we do have the splash guard that I've mentioned in other videos that you want to look for. When the tires are running down the road in the rain, this gives you an extra level of defense against water hitting your slide out. And the hideout uses a rack and pinion slide system, which is the tried and true system that's been used for a very long time because it's very reliable. As we make our way around, we have our other compartment door on this side, a little bit smaller, and once again, there's our Furion side camera prep. So you have prep for side and backup cameras. Now a little note on construction, and we'll, we'll go inside, it's a fairly cool day, we were getting snow flurries earlier, 
as we go inside, we'll make a note of a few items. The screen assist, nice big handle for grabbing your door, but give it a gentle push and your screen pulls away from the main door. So we've talked about a few construction items outside. Before I give you a tour of the inside unit, one thing that if you're looking to buy a hideout or any trailer that you should question is construction. So on a hideout, the wall joists are spaced 16 inches on center to give you a really good wall structure. The floor joists are also 16 inches on center as well as our roof rafters. Another little fact that if you're looking to purchase, you wanna know, and this is regardless of any trailer, I would ask if I was buying our header over our slide out. So up in here, above the slide out, is a header that goes across the entire slide out. Different manufacturers do different things. With the hideout, they use an LVL beam that goes across the entire slide, out past the slide, to support that roof structure. So when you're bringing your slide in and out, you won't see any flex on the roof. And you will see that in units. If slides are coming in or out, if you're in a campground at some point, and you see someone setting up, take a peek when they're bringing their slide in and out. You will be shocked that at times you'll see their roof structures flexing because a header beam hasn't been used. Um, they may have used two by fours or something else. So structurally the LVL beam is going to be very strong, much more residential style and not having flex in your roof is going to give you longer life out of your trailer with less wear and tear. Now having gotten the construction out of the way, let's take a look around on this trailer. As I mentioned, it's a single large slide. This has been very typical of the floor plans in the past because it works. It's deep, it's tall, and gives you lots of room, but still keeps the dry weight at a respectable weight. So we have a hide-a-bed sofa here. What's nice with the sofas is you do have storage underneath, and you will hear me talk about storage a lot. We have a nice dinette, large windows around, so we have lots of natural light. Up front, we have a prep for our TV, sound bar, and then we have a nook. And this nook, many people when I was in the dealership role would ask me what that nook is for. And I would point out, and we'll use my foot as an example, it's a spot that you can actually put your shoes. Because when you come in, there's not much space around the front door of most trailers. So you can take your shoes off and actually tuck them into that nook, right? So they're out of the way. So just a nice little fun fact. As we make our way into the bedroom, you'll notice there's an entrance on both sides. That just gives you maximum flexibility and we do have solid pocket doors, which is really nice. As I mentioned in other videos, you always want to look at cross ventilation in case you're ever camping or boondocking, you know, Walmart, etc. on a long trip. We have a large window with emergency screen and that can be popped open and left open to, to access a breeze. And there's our second window that opens with a screen for cross ventilation. We have a nice queen size bed, and there is storage under the bed. Nice big storage area. We have a mirrored wardrobe, hello everyone, on both sides, and a nice shelf. I do like that shiplap style look going vertically. TV prep over on this side, and I'm gonna come around the other side, so you'll notice, as I mentioned, the double entrance. Something that was really neat that I saw, 
and we haven't seen this for well over a decade, but here, right next to our uh, wardrobe, you'll notice there's a little handle. That handle simply pulls up so you can actually have it's a little laundry drop. You can put your laundry basket down there and then drop dirty clothes and towels because you never really have a good place to put dirty laundry in a travel trailer without tripping all over it. I do like the white wood with the darker accented pieces. Again, very residential looking. We have a couple of drawers here and the hideouts, these larger hideouts actually come with central vac. So you get the intervac central vac system. So gone are the days of carrying brooms or swiffers trying to pick up dirt that way, especially if you have young kids coming in and out, you actually have a central, central vac system. Now, being a longtime RVer, I can tell you I love my units when they have central vacs. Just makes cleaning up super, super easy. You pull out a hose, give it a quick vacuum, you're done. We've got nice big storage here. Below and above, and I do like the accents. I'll get up a little closer so you can see the detail in the glass and that they're nice big drawers with a, a cabinet doors and deep cabinets with a light inside as well, which is a nice feature. We have a double sink, our microwave, and our three burner stove. And again, you do have your accent lighting as well as your lighting inside the oven. So it's a decent size oven. You're not gonna get a turkey in here, but it's great for everyday usage. And then our glass countertop, which flips out of the way if you are gonna be cooking, but gives you that extra countertop space. The heavy grates is a nice touch. This is something that I'm really excited to see has happened over the years, that the grates and the cooking tops have gotten better and better and better in this industry. Now we have a traditional propane electric nor cold fridge. These are a little bit better than the 12 volt fridges, but the 12 volts have come a long way. This is a nice large fridge as well, and a little better for boondocking or dry camping. And you'll notice the adjustable shelves. There's even this mid shelf that slides out if you need larger storage space or if you need ta taller, you push it in where it currently is. And the stainless steel finish just gives it a nice finish overall. Now let's take a look towards the back here. You'll notice large pantry. Again, never enough storage space and a solid pocket door where so many are using curtains, etc. You want the solid door when you put the kids to sleep, you want to be able to close that door, give them a little more privacy. There's good space here between the bunks for someone to get dressed, etc. Good space above and I like what Hideout has done. They've put and now we have the compartment door open, but they put a window on the bottom here to get natural light in at this level, and then a window up top to get light in higher up. And then, of course, you have lights here as well as on the other bunk itself. There is closed storage back here, which makes it nice. So you have space for the kids or any adult guests. And speaking of adult guests, Something that I always look for in bunk model units is a weight rating. So here we have a 300 pound maximum load capacity for the bunks. And in other videos, you'll notice I talk about bunk mattresses. You'll notice this is a nice thick mattress. So it's comfortable for sleeping where some of them are you know, half the size and a little chintzy. They're nice and heavy here. Again, nice heavy mattress at the bottom. And then we do have access to that storage from inside. So just a nice little feature. And there is a 
rod support, as you notice, the little shock there to keep that up so you can grab your gear from inside as well. So that's nice and it's done on both sides here so that if you wanted to use one side to put cases of water, uh, different uh, items, you know, water, juice, etc., that you're storing there till you need it, you can actually grab it from inside rather than running all the way out. A couple of notes, because always important, there is a TV prep, and I should say that's not the important part. The power plugs are important right at the top of our dresser, as well as power plugs on both sides of the lower bunks. That way the kids can charge their iPads or their phones, depending on their ages. And if you have teenagers, they'll love you for that. Now our bathroom, porcelain toilet. Always like the porcelain toilet, adds a bit of weight, but easy to clean, very durable, very sturdy. We have some storage underneath our sink and a good countertop space I always look for. The light is turned on with a light switch so you're not reaching in and out. We have a decent mirror here. And then the 290s have always had a combination of a mini tub and shower. Because it's family oriented, whether it's mom and dad with young kids or grandparents with grandkids, there is a mini tub. Now, some of the ladies have told me they also like the mini tubs just to have a mini soak in there. So a nice little feature with the full tub surround and you'll notice from the natural light, there's a vent there as well. Now, a little item, I'm gonna use the washroom here. You'll notice here, it says inverted outlet, solar flex. So this is where I was mentioning earlier that you can purchase from your dealer, from their parts area, or arrange to have their service team install it. You can purchase an inverter, install it, or have it installed in this trailer, and it will draw power from the battery, converting it from 12 volt to 110 volt. And as we walk around, you'll notice we said the washroom was inverted, the kitchen is inverted. Anywhere you see this yellow sticker, will be inverted, and even here with the TV, which means you're taking a longer trip, pulled into a Walmart for an overnight stay because maybe you've gotten somewhere eight, nine, 10 o'clock at night. You don't wanna be going through the campground late at night. Um, I've done this myself because some, sometimes that local campground's really dark or it's way off from the highway, and I just wanna be able to pull over have some dinner, get some sleep, and hit the road early in the morning. I pull into the Walmart, do my grocery shopping, and call it a night. Here that inverter will allow me to watch TV because it'll convert the power from 12 volt to 110. It'll let me run a small appliance. Now something to consider and that you wanna to speak to your dealer about is should you maybe put a second battery on, maybe go to larger batteries, maybe go to two 12 volt batteries if you're using that inverter to get more use, depending on the usage. The nice thing, it is there for you. Already wired in from the factory, ready to go. And if you don't need it today, but need it in a couple of years, it's an easy add-on. Let's uh, point out a couple other things. There's a number of light switches. They're all LED lights, of course. USB plug here next to the sofa. So overall, I have to admit, this 280, uh, 290 I can see still being a really key floor plan with the little modifications they've done over the years for a family. 6,830 pounds not a heavy trailer to pull, and with gas prices going where they're going, still should be able to get you decent fuel economy without having to go into a massive truck. 2,730 pounds, sitting on a really nice set of axles, lots of cargo capacity. So if you decide to do a longer trip, take the kids down to Disney, and need to put more gear, you have the flexibility to put more gear and not 
tax those axles out like you may in some other units. Overall, I like the hideout, the quality, the features, great little unit. Again, I'd like to say at this time, thank you to Bella Vista for giving us the opportunity and the use of this trailer for the video. If you like this video, please click the like button. Please subscribe. We would love to have you as a subscriber. We are trying to push past the 10,000 subscriber mark. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified of other videos as they come along. We are having an opportunity to look at some other hideout floor plans, as well as some Coleman's here at Bella Vista. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at some of the great floor plans that are available today. We're also going to be bringing you some RV parts reviews and automotive test drives. So check back soon. Bruno from RVing TV saying thank you for viewing the video. I greatly appreciate it. Feel free to make any comments below. We do check and respond. And I just want to wish you all the best and say make sure that you're living life to the fullest. We'll see you out in a campground.